All right, time for a single lives matter sermon. Just in time for tax day. A lot of people, when they hear about singles discrimination, the first thing that usually comes to mind is their income taxes. Right? There are certain disadvantages to being single, but there are also disadvantages for being married if both partners are making a large income, and especially if there's no children involved. Right? And there's a lot of discussion about that. Many years ago, the discussion circled around marriage equality, right? People wanted the benefits of being married with unconventional partners, right? But there's another way that governments can make marriage equality happen much more widely and much more quickly, and cover a much greater proportion of people. I'll let you pause the video for a second. There's one simple solution that almost never gets discussed. When people talk about marriage equality, it's a very obvious solution. The government could just get out of marriage altogether, right? You don't get a tax credit for having more than a certain number of friends, right? I would say marriage could be in the same boat. Not very popular for whatever reason, and、um, uh, it would instantly solve all sorts of marriage equality issues, right? I trust people to marry who they like to marry, right? There's probably all sorts of other, other possibilities for marriage that even I haven't thought about, and that would instantly cover those people as well, right? It's a private decision by private people, right? And so everybody would file their own taxes, right? Regardless of what their status is, right? As long as they have an income, they file, right? That would be the ideal situation. But talking about taxes in single bias misses the boat in that. The whole、um, environment of our society is highly tilted against people in unconventional relationships, right? Especially solo sexuals. First of all, we even deny that there's a lot of solo sexuals. Right? Most t- most times when I talk about it, people say that、um, just completely different from everybody else. I gotta beg to differ. Fifty percent of marriages here in the United States end in divorce. You gotta wonder how many of those people divorce because they find they they're more romantic toward themselves than with somebody else, right? Right now, as I speak, we have a huge population growth problem around the world. Right? We have about two births for every death, right? And it's our population number is already unsustainable. We consume one and a half Earths、uh, every year, right? And、um, Right now, as I speak,、uh, just about every mineral except for gold, right, is、uh, in deficit. We we use more silver, more copper, more of everything else. Nickel, right? Nickel prices went to a hundred thousand dollars a ton the other day.、Uh, then we mine every year, right? Except for gold, that's true of all the other metals. And why why are we reproducing so much? Because we deny solo sexuals their right to to equality in our in our culture, right? So I want to talk about a couple examples of this.、Uh, since we're talking about taxes, I'll talk about a little hack that I had one year. I was working part time at a tutoring center in 2018, a different one than the one I'm currently working at, and I was counting, I was calculating how much I had grossed that year because I needed to gross under. Some amount to qualify for savers credit. I believe if you made thirty-two thousand something or less, you qualified for a two hundred dollar credit toward your、uh, Roth IRA、uh, contributions. And I was running close to that line, and so I needed to take some time off uh, in uh, December. But、um, my boss, he was like, they. they These two students really love you. You better come. And、uh, I ended up.、Uh, what ha- what I did was I went, but I didn't clock in because I was making about as much as that two hundred. I figure I might as well save him the money. And、um, that that was that.、Uh, but had had my colleagues who were married been in the same boat, they could have came up with all sorts of issues. Even just they could have just honestly said they wanted to save. On the Roth IRA in order to help their children, right? For me, you know, if I save 200 bucks on my Roth IRA, my boss probably just thinks I'm gonna just do something stupid with it, right? I, I didn't even feel like it was right for me to tell him that, right? If I if I were married, I would probably feel a lot more comfortable talking about that. 
Now my mom and I, we're getting close to Mother's Day. My mom and I had some falling out over my sexual orientation. She thinks that I need somebody to settle down with, to have children. And uh, she really despises that I go out to, uh, well, she tells me that she's, cons last year when I took up bowling and I scored at 242, I mean, my parents tell me they're concerned about me catching COVID-19. I think the real problem is they wish I had a girl to go with. Uh, but I like it by myself. I, I try taking a girl to various things. It never goes very well, right? I, I love doing things the way that I like to do them, right? Uh, my mom and I also had a falling out over some weight that I had lost during the pandemic. She thinks that the pandemic has already been pretty hard on me in terms of uh, mental health, in terms of social connectivity. And now I'm going to give up my only pleasure in life, right? That's what she says. What she fails to see is that when I'm not eating, I'm writing computer games, I'm bowling, I'm meeting new people. And I don't mind connecting with other people. I just prefer to, to hold romance toward myself, right? I've had female friends, close ones. The ideal situation would be that I marry somebody who is also solo sexual. And we could be solo sexual together. That's fine. But uh, I've never felt romance toward anybody else to the same level that I feel romance toward myself. And I'm sure there are other people who hold other sorts of romances. And I think the only way we can make things fair is to get the government out of it, right? By definition, if government's going to make rules in marriage, there's going to be people who disagree, right? So the best way is to just get out of it.